My daughter's story is loud, colorful, and artful. It's a girl! She was awake, aware, and active. And yet she still died. After she gave birth, Shimani was complaining that she had really sharp chest pains. The ambulance came. I'm telling them the symptoms. Is she on drugs? Next set of people come in. Is she on drugs? They kept asking her mother, is she on any drugs? I'm like, do y'all talk? We waited a solid 12 hours. She's gone. Black women are four times more likely to die than their white counterparts with the same symptoms. Why is that? This is a growing epidemic in our community. Hundreds and thousands of men are going through this same situation. I've never lived in this house without her. You just got to keep pushing forward. I can't let Amber be another statistic. I had a plan, I had it mapped out. If these numbers were flipped around and white women were dying at the rate that black women are dying, it would be a national crisis. We fight against maternal morbidity event by event in order to create change. We can turn our pain into power and make something of this. Jamani Gibson! We hear you, we see you. I planned on spending a lifetime with Amber. I wanted to give her my life. This way, I'm still going to. Sometimes the revolution will be tweeted, Instagram, Facebook. This fight is not over. When black mothers die, there's a ripple effect. We call it aftershocks.